All right, hey there Cancer. So I'm doing an Akashic read for you guys. And this is gonna be focused on your past, present, and future lives. So you're gonna know this is um, hinting towards you based off the present situation, your life, what you show people and what you can shed. We're gonna hop backwards to the past life and then we're gonna go to the future to see what will come through for you, all right? So I'm just going to jump right into this read and we're going to start with your present life um, and an Akashic card. All right. So let's just see what comes through for your present life, your present situation for cancer. Okay. So you guys are coming through with the four of forces and this is spring and autumn. Um, so as far as this card goes, um, right now your energy would be laying the groundwork for the future. So um, you're focusing on basically building a future, whether it's um, romantic, um, business, familial. Um, you're just going to know that this right here, you're basically paving the, the path um, towards your future and your focus. You're going to have a higher focus on the vision for the future. So your goals, um, your dreams, um, and being ambitious when it comes to making those energies come um, true for you. All right. So I'm going to pull a little bit more with the tarot to see who you are now. The four of forces, you guys, is going to be, um, it can be in relation to the four of swords where it's rest, um, it's resting, it's meditation, um, and healing. So you could be healing any sort of dynamic when it comes to your, your current life, whether it, again, it's finances, familial, romantic business. Um, the four of forces is just kind of focusing on the future. All right. And the spring and autumn dynamic when it comes to this card could be that there's some um, changes that are going to be made when it comes to either spring or autumn. And we're already kind of in winter, so, um, you know, some of those changes could take place um, here in the near future or in the distant future. All right. So when it comes to who you are now, um, this is all about this is wish fulfillment right here. So you're definitely focusing on your dreams and the vision for the future, taking care of your stability, your family, your kids, your abundance um, and your wellness. All right. The two of wands right here is focusing um on your growth. Um, this right here is building an empire. So for whoever I'm talking to, you're focused on leaving a legacy to those that are important to you, focusing on your happiness, your happily ever after is coming through with that um, sun card. So for whoever I'm talking about um, or talking to right now, as far as um, your present life, your focus is, is big. It's big energy. It's big goals. It's proceeding and moving forward. Um, you, you don't want to leave no unrest when it comes to where you can see yourself self sitting at in the future. All right. So let's just see, um, for about who we're talking to, I'm going to pull about, I'm going to pull more to see, um, what you show people, what you show people. So who we're talking to. So you're, um, basically right here with the hermit card. This is somebody who goes within. This is somebody who's very analytical, very thoughtful. Um, you know, this is, uh, you don't, you're, you're not a, a, a bragger. I'm going to say that. So if you're, if you are doing good on the financial scale, you're doing good, um, at, as far as ambition, when it comes to making your dreams come to fruition, you definitely, you, you don't go bragging about that because you know that it's not going to suffice, um, to your current life. All right. So the hermit card is basically just saying, you know what you have to do. Um, in order to kind of uh, proceed forward with life. We have the five of swords right here. And as far as who you are, this is somebody who's gone through a lot. Um, this is somebody um, who uh, you've you have and you wear your battle wounds, your your scars um, right here. This is also kind of knowing that in order to kind of proceed and move forward um, that, you know, I'm not I'm not entertaining conflict. I'm not entertaining drama. I'm, I'm no longer going to be somebody who puts myself in situations when it comes to, um, you know, war, battles, arguments like that. You know that that doesn't serve you for your higher purpose. So the way that people see you, um, this is somebody who's been through a lot, you know, and I feel like what you 
you've shown people is if anything, you've worked hard to kind of build and get to where you're at. You have the page of wands right here. So you could be embarking on a spiritual journey. Um, you could be sharing some spiritual knowledge, but what you're showing people really with this card is um, the, re the re removing um, self-limiting beliefs. So you could be somebody that people look up to when it comes to life. Um, they look at what you've gone through. They look at how you share your energy. And this page of wands is really somebody who's like, um, I've been through a lot, but I know, I know, um, I know my path, you know, this is somebody who is uh, full of ideas, um, you know, and discovering those ideas. This is also, you know, discovering your limitless potential. It's freeing your spirit and removing all self-limiting beliefs. Um, and if you do not feel like you resonate with that energy, as far as that page of wands, what I'm going to tell you is that people do see that within you. All right. So let's just see what you can shed when it comes to your present situation, what you can shed. All right, so um, as far as um, shedding, this is going to be um, in part to the past life. All right, so just keep that in mind. We have the Empress card, which is, um, it could be a soulmate dynamic. This is also new beginnings. It's abundance. It's a home comfort and security. And so if I'm talking to somebody right here who is single, all right, what you guys need to know is that you don't need a life partner to kind of help you build um, your comfort and security. So some of you guys could be single for quite a long time where your focus has been all about the future potential of you and, you know, what you're leaving behind your your um your empire your legacy um and some of you guys could just be focused on um maybe there's somebody uh, lingering in the distant past that you've really really felt a strong connection to all right and the reason why i'm 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 dipping into this right here is because this could be um potentially holding up your progress or your future growth so um some of you guys actually could be thinking that you've met the one or you've had the one at some point in time that you were supposed to grow with. And I feel like what Spirit's saying is you haven't, everything is not lost, okay? And if you guys have kind of um, guarded yourself from uh, future potential relationships because you thought you had the one, um, I feel like Spirit's just kind of telling you, you need to kind of let go of that uh, dynamic right there. Um, temperance card right here. Um, this right here is going to be, um, understanding its patience. All right. And the fact that temperance shows kind of at the sideways angle, um, you know, this is what, as far as what you can shed is, um, holding on to beliefs of, um, impatience, um, and, you know, misunderstandings. This is also kind of dealing with, um, not, not feeling like bliss peace, love, and harmony when it comes to your emotional body belongs to you. You got a soulmate card right here through temperance. You got a soulmate card through the empress and you got a soulmate card through the lover showing up here. So I feel like your biggest thing that you can shed is maybe the misbelief that, um, a romantic or a soul contract isn't um, held in this lifetime for you. Um, it could just be that you're channeling, you're, you're putting your head down, you're focusing so much on your future and your abundance and where life is supposed to put you at in the 3D level that you've kind of um, surpassed believing in love. And I feel like what Spirit's kind of telling you is to, to you need to kind of remove that angle from your life um, because this is all love. This is peace. This is kind of submerging yourself, um, you know, in, in, in what every Everybody wants to find at some point in their life and I almost feel like this is coming through as a disbelief that you're not going to be in receipt of that all right it's almost like you already had it once and you um, fully have kind of given up on that dynamic um, when it comes to this lifetime so um, I feel like what spirit's saying is you need to kind of shed that belief when it comes to um, I feel like it's a mishandling or a mismanagement on how you feel when it comes to the love dynamic. It's almost like this is all um, such a deep soul level connection right here coming through that you may have experienced experienced it once and that that one time was enough for you to kind of just leave it it's like i'm booking out of here and i'm just going to focus on my finances my security and um everything moving forward so that i can leave something to be behind to those that i that remain in my life all right um it's almost like you're kind of um in this energy of um i had it once and i'm not ever going to see it again okay so you need to kind of shed the 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 misfactor that you won't ever have that again you guys so i'm gonna go backwards and we're gonna uh, pull on the past life 
I want to pull on the past life to kind of see um, the karma um, that you obtained as a positive and the karma that you obtained as a negative. All right, so let's just see what card overrules your past life. All right, so the card that overshadows or kind of overrules your past life, we have this King of Forces. So the King of Forces is, um, it's a very, very powerful and positive energy. So what I'm going to say um, as far as your um, situation now is there is going to be definitely some confliction here. And it's almost like you kind of lost sight of who you were in your past life coming into this life. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the King of Forces is somebody who is very, very powerful they um attract and obtain positive energy this is kind of like the king of swords and the, the king of swords is very very business minded all right very very focused when it comes to the financial aspects of the future um the king of forces is is basically somebody that says i can do i can do what i want i'll get what i want and i'll have what i want um it's basically um a very very um uh high powered force when it comes to um, receiving all right due to beliefs so it's like in your last life you, uh, you had this energy you had this power and I feel like that's where you're sitting in this life you kind of see how they correlate and that's where your focus has been all right this um, it, it, you know it in this life so you're basically picking up where you left off this last life okay um you're bringing that energy into where the focus is i'm going to just um go go for what i want and the king of forces again is financial it's business it's entrepreneurship you know and it's somebody who does em embody um truth honest integrity so let's just see um i'm going to pull a little bit more about who you were when it comes to this king of forces who you were in the past life so here's what I'm going to say. So you definitely in your last life, you um, tiptoed around relationships. Okay. Um, this is going back and forth. It's juggling a lot, whether it's business, familial, um, you know, I just feel like this is somebody who it's, 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 here's what I'm going to say, cancer. It's like you're walking away from the, the dynamic of love. And I feel like you guys have probably done that quite a bit when it comes to this life right now as you've seen it and it could be due in part because you've lost something whether it was divorce a split a death you know i just feel like you're kind of walking away from that that dynamic um as a whole because you don't want to feel that pain you don't want to feel that hurt all right so i kind of feel like who you were is where you kind of merged in so you're carrying over your past life energy into this life currently all right so i'm going to pull to see um what your negative karma is that you collected so negative karma that you collected in your last life so this is negative karma you guys um, so he here's what I'm going to say. You have justice card, which is a card that's supposed to represent balance, rewards, and success. Um, but the fact that justice card is coming through, I feel like is karma because what you've done is you failed in your last life to take care of yourself in the way that you wanted to, in the way that you could have. All right. I feel like the seven of wands is somebody who is supposed to, um, you know, this is like, I'm going to stick up for myself. I'm going to de defend myself. Um, this is also... Um, carrying, um, you know, um, it's, it's carrying, um, a, 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 it's like holding space for somebody very near and dear to you. Okay. And the fact that this is coming through as negative karma, that could represent you. It could represent somebody very near and dear to your heart. And that could be where you kind of uh, see right now in this energy where you don't um, have time for relationships and people. And I almost feel like in a negative aspect, you kind of felt that in the past life. All right. Um, and what I'm saying is, is giving back to yourself and making yourself happy. This is negative karma right here. So this is kind of failing to kind of be in pursuit of what your dreams and hopes are and wishes. And I'm going to tell you this money and finances and security is very, very important, but so is love, the mental and emotional body, you guys. And what I'm kind of seeing right here, as far as negative karma is, is you had stuff in your past life that you really, really wanted to be in pursuit of, but you didn't. All right. And it did, you didn't because you're sitting here and you're carrying on this king of forces energy which is hey um again you know i'm gonna make big things happen for me but i feel like um you know in your life path on the last life that you had um it was more um centered around what everybody else wanted and not what you wanted um this is like 
not being in receipt of what you want. And that's because you're not living your life for you in your past life. So if you can kind of see that connection to where you're sitting at now, it's almost like you're too worried. You could be too focused on making sure that there is um, a dream for somebody else to catch when you pass over. And that's not what life's supposed to be about, you guys. So let's see what positive karma um, you obtained the positive karma that you obtained from your last life. All right, so this is good. So there was a recognition. Um, here's what I'm going to say. There was a recognition and it could have carried over to the very, very end of your life where you were coming out of that. Hey, you know, um, I have to focus on everybody else. Hey, it's about me preserving my time, space and energy for everybody else. All right. What I'm going to say is the positive um, karma that you kind of received um, before coming into this life is um, refining a renewed sense of energy, passion. All right. This is taking inspired action towards your goals and what you want. And you have, um, you have this four of wands here. So I feel like you guys could be, be connecting with a very, very deep soul level in your past life, potentially even meeting this person in this life. All right. Um, and here's what I'm going to say. You got the death card coming through, which is transformation and rebirth. All right. So here, what I feel like um, has happened in your past life, as far as your positive karma is that you could have potentially met somebody. All right. Um, where your focus was on money, ambition, and, you know, the, the, the bigger, um, 3d aspects of life. Um, there was something that happened, something triggered a, tr a change in your past life. Um, and I do feel like it was a person because what you're carrying now and what I see for now is that you may have felt like you've met the one and there's nobody that's going to match up to that. So what I'm going to say in your past life is you are taking on that negative karma of kind of how you're living right now. But what I do want to say is that you change your perspective quite possibly at the end of your life. Um, you know, and it could have been an unexpected death. It could have been something into old age, but you, some, something changed. And I do feel like it was somebody that you're connecting with at a spiritual or soul level. This four of wands, that's a um, twin flame energy. This is also a deep soul level connection. This is marriage and celebration. And I feel like, you know, if you were just kind of focusing on yourself and what everybody else wants, um, the positive karma that you connected with in your past life was, um, it's not about everybody else. It's about me and my happiness all right so that's what you're carrying that's what you carry over you guys um the positive karma so here's what i'm going to say in the last life you recognize the positive karma um it basically supersedes that negative karma so you're you're what's happening is is that you're kind of still living in that negative karmic dynamic okay so you kind of if i hope that you can understand what i'm talking about when it comes to what you need to release um when it comes to um, kind of uh, uh, reflecting on, oh, okay, this is what I carry. This is what who I am right now. And this is what I had in the past. So there's going to be a blanket right there where you can see where you need to make a change. Okay. So um, making those changes, I'm just going to pull um, the future to see um, who you'll be and where everything is going for you. I've never done this read for you guys. So I hope that you resonate with it. I hope it makes sense. All right. So you have faded meeting. Wow, you guys. Okay. So faded meeting is coming through as a very important relationship that's entering your life in the future. So if you can kind of pull the reins and pull the shackles back, take the shackles off on where your focus is and focus on your heart happiness and the emotional body. You guys have faded meeting coming through. That's a very important relationship. All right. Look at this you guys i'm getting the chills i'm gonna start crying because i'm a baby like that so let's just pull a little bit more about this faded meeting okay so coming into the akashic card faded meeting so here's what i'm going to say you've carried a fear a worry um and this is all coming from the ego standpoint okay um and so it's like once you kind of eliminate that aspect okay um it, this is like fear of loss, fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, no matter what's kind of transpired. As soon as you kind of lift the idea that you're going to be um, sitting here alone and, and bruised, you know, when it comes to love, once you eliminate that, you guys, you have something coming through here with the Knight of Swords. So I feel like the Cancer that I'm talking to definitely has a fear that you're not going to find happiness when it comes to your heart space. So you've channeled all your energy into... Um, 
the work and the finances and the growth. So I could be talking to somebody who's very wealthy, very financially off, and you've put all your energy into focusing on the solid, um, stable situations in life because of, of the pain that you felt when it comes to losing somebody. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. As far as who you will be, you are destined to meet somebody in this lifetime and you are destined to carry on a positive um, relationship with somebody, but you definitely have to step out. All right. It's a, this right here is eliminating those fears, the anxiety and the worry when it comes to loss, when it comes to the, the love, the heart space. And as soon as you do this Knight of swords energy is all about ambition. This is excitement. This is success and forward movement. Okay. So let's, see um, what you're going to heal what you're going to heal in the future when you let go of what of, of your fears what you're going to heal so here's what I'm going to say you have the two of swords right here so this is blockages when it comes to kind of uh, manifesting your heart's desires all right I feel like what spirit saying is is not to give up on this um, what your potential is right here is don't give up on what you know is kind of in your heart space. This is love, you guys. Cancer, this is the first read I've done. And this is definitely saying that you know that you have this this um, this um, special place in your heart for somebody. You know that you have the energy to treat somebody um, like you've never, ever felt, like you've never, ever been able to show beforehand. All right. Um, the magician card is coming through as um, manifesting those heart's desires. This is divine um, partnerships right here. And there's so many um, soul level projections coming through here. And I feel like what spirit's kind of showing you too, as far as what you're going to heal is you might have thought that you had somebody that you were deeply connected to. And that's not wrong, but there could be somebody that's on a deeper level. That potential st um, stands much greater. All right. If you can eliminate your fears and your worries when it comes to the emotional body and the heart space. So you guys have something greater coming through here. So um, in this dynamic, let's see where life it takes you. Where is life taking you from here? Where is life taking cancer? Wow. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. You guys have an opportunity coming through here. Um, here's here's what I feel okay you have this eight of pentacles right here and it's continuing to do the work continuing to release fears and worries continuing to um you know kind of um outshine any superstitions that you have when it comes to love and the heart space dynamic and what I'm going to say is you guys have a super huge opportunity coming through here when it comes to love um and this is right here is like this is the 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 person that's wedding this is the efficient this is order its rules you guys um so as soon as you kind of release those um, burdens, this, um, I feel like it's a false belief when it comes to your idea of love. Um, you're going to see something so beautiful come in um, that, that you've just never seen. You even have new beginnings coming through here with the page of cups. All right. So let's just see what the distant overview um, has for you. The distant overview when it comes to love and your life. The distant overview. Look at this, you guys. All right. So you have learning from past mistakes, past failures, past wounds. And this is manifesting a life that you probably never even um, thought that would come to fruition. Okay. As far as the distant overview, you got right here. Um, this is love. This is a past life soulmate coming into your life. Um, I do feel like this card does uh, represent somebody from your past and it could be that you've um, lost this person and that they are coming back. Okay. For those that haven't lost this person to death. And what I want to say is, um, you know, if you, if this is not somebody represented from this life in the past, that's still living. What I want to say is spirit has something bigger coming through for you with this high priestess, which is a much deeper connection. You have the magician, you have the high priestess. Those are divine counterparts. This is a much deeper soul level connection coming through here. And for those of you who have lost somebody in this lifetime where you um, don't think that they're coming back, I feel like spirit saying we got something bigger coming through for you. And just because you haven't seen or heard from this person in some time, it doesn't mean that they're not coming back. Okay. Um, and I feel like that's represented by that that queen of wands and I feel also to you what spirit's saying is to have confidence in yourself and what you deserve all right it's time for you to take your energy back and focus on what's really kind of um defining your life at at 
the special place when it comes to your heart you guys this is a love read okay um and I, I i would say it's something else but it's not this is a love read and it has been from the past the present and the future you guys so cancer i'm gonna leave it there um i hope that this resonates with somebody you guys um leave me some positive feedback if you feel compelled all right take care